So this is the new thing I have been hearing from several of my patients. Whether it is better to take fish oil or flaxseed oil. So that's what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I am Dr. Anshil Gupta. I am a thyroid and functional medicine expert. I make personalized functional medicine plans to reverse your chronic diseases. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. All right, so let's talk about today about fish oil versus flaxseed oil. So both fish oil and flaxseed oil, the reason we take them is one, that they are both good sources of omega-3s in our body. Now, omega-3s are wonderful ways of reducing inflammation in our body and they are different food sources of them. And the two most common sources that we see are either fish oil or either flaxseed oil. But there are differences. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And then we are going to talk about which is better, whether fish oil or flaxseed oil is better or not. Okay. But let's talk about omega 3s. So, omega 3 fatty acids are divided into two. We have two omega 3s in our body one is EPA and the other one is DHA. Now, both of them have their own benefits, but collectively they add value to each other. Now, what are the benefits of taking omega 3 fatty acids? So, omega 3 fatty acids have shown in research to be beneficial for reducing inflammation in a the body. They have shown to be beneficial for improving mental clarity, for improving our attention span, so can be helpful for people like ADHD. They are also helpful for improving mental disorders, like people who have depression or anxiety or bipolar disorders. They are, the omega-3 fatty acids are also good for heart health. So those are also another benefit of them. The omega-3 fatty acids are good for skin health. So if you have allergies or eczema or psoriasis, any of those things, the fish oil or the omega-3 fatty acids are useful for that. And omega-3 fatty acids are also important or good for your gut health. So if you have gut inflammation, bloating, you know, or stomach pain or cramping, the omega-3 fatty acids can be useful for that also. So you see omega-3 fatty acids have so many health benefits for you. So it is very important to consume them on a the regular basis, especially in a form of a supplement. So let's talk about what is the difference between the fish oil and the flaxseed oil. So the fish oil, you know, is derived from basically certain kinds of fish, which are high in omega threes. So these fishes are generally called sardines, you know, or anchovy or mackerel or herring or salmon. So these are the fishes which are high in omega three fatty acids. And we derive these uh, fish oil from these fishes. So now the important part is that the omega-3 fatty acids which are derived from these fish oils are actually present in the form of EPA and DHA. So we are directly getting EPA and DHA. And the concentration of EPA and DHA in these fish oils are very, very high. So we have to take very minimal amount of these fish oils and we will get a lot of EPA and DHA. Most of the time, one capsule of fish oil will give you approximately 1000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA, which is a pretty good dosage and the dosage needed for a person to actually have all the health benefits. So that's about the fish oil. Now let's talk about the flaxseed oil. Now flaxseed oil also have omega threes, but the omega three that they have is in the form of ALA, which is alpha linoleic acid. So we are going to talk about a little bit of chemistry over here. So the alpha linoleic acid actually needs to be converted into the active omega threes, which is the EPA and DHA. Now on theory, everybody feels that, you know, like the, all the ALA should be converted to EPA and DHA, but there was a research study done, which showed that uh, a good percentage of population is actually deficient in an enzyme, which leads to this conversion of ALA to EPA and DHA. And they said that, it might be that more than 80 to 90 percent of population in certain areas might be deficient in this enzyme and that's the reason they might not be able to convert this ALA to EPA and DHA. So that's another problem, right? But although ALA still has its own health benefits of reducing inflammation and all the other benefits, but the most of the research shows that EPA and DHA definitely are a better choice, you know, in terms of, you know, omega threes that we need for the body. The second reason is that the flaxseed, you know, has a lot of ALA, but still the concentration of ALA in the flaxseed oil is pretty low. So we do not, we are not getting enough of omega-3s, even if we consume flaxseed oil on a regular basis. 
Now the flaxseed has oil has other benefits. So the, it has been shown that flaxseed oil is good for the gut health. For people who have diarrhea or constipation, the flaxseed oil can be helpful for gut health and actually can them give them additional benefits. So you see that's the difference between the fish oil and the flaxseed oil. The fish oil has more EPA and DHA. It has better quality of EPA and DHA in them. But the flaxseed oil, you know, the omega-3s that is present in them are mainly in the form of ALA. Okay. So in my respect, most of my patients, I recommend them to use fish oil instead of the flaxseed oil because the fish oil actually gives them much more benefit. I hope this video answers these questions for you. Okay. I do offer virtual online functional medicine consultations. So if you're interested in working with me, uh, the link below has a description.